Hello everyone, South Africa Elite Hunting Safaris are back again with another video. Today we will be hunting in the Roibok Kral area within the Limpopo province of South Africa. We will be hunting the respectable waterbuck. The waterbuck occur widespread over Sub-Sahara Africa, from Central Africa downwards to South Africa. A waterbuck male is called a bull and a waterbuck female is called a cow. The population is stable within the waterbuck community. The waterbuck may form herds consisting of 6 to 30 individuals. These groups may include nursery herds, bachelor herds and territorial males. The waterbuck has a robust bolt. The coat is reddish brown to grey that becomes progressively darker with age. Males are darker than females. The waterbuck has a coat that's also waterproof when he enters water. Waterbuck has long spiral horns presented only on males. It curves backward and then forward. Males start showing territorial behavior from the age of five, but are most dominant from six to nine years. The waterbuck cannot tolerate dehydration in hot weather and thus inhabits areas close to sources of water. They are predominantly grazers. The waterbuck is mostly found in grasslands. In equatorial regions, breeding takes place throughout the year, but births are at the peak in the rainy season. The gestational period lasts seven to eight months, followed by the birth of a single calf. Waterbucks inhabit scrub and savanna areas along rivers, lakes and valleys due to their requirement for grassland and water. Waterbox has a sparse ecotone distribution. Its 13 subspecies are grouped under two variants, the common waterbuck or the defasa waterbuck. The common waterbuck populations are stable and listed as a least concern, while the defasa waterbuck is near threatened. The waterbuck is one of the heaviest antelopes. A newborn typically weighs 13.6 kilograms or 30 pounds. Waterbuck males weigh 437 to 578 pounds or 198 kilograms to 262 kilograms, whereby females weigh 355 pounds to 472 pounds or 161 to 214 kilograms. Male waterbucks use their horns to fight and defend their territories. These antelopes can clock speeds up to 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. Waterbuck has a lifespan of 18 years in the wild. The shot placement on a waterbuck is two thirds of the body length just behind the shoulder. Most South African hunting packages include a waterbuck hunt. A waterbuck approximately, depending on size, will be 2,000 to 3,000 US dollars. A waterbuck trophy, male trophy, consists of 28 inches. The world record is 39 and 3 eighths of inches. This wraps it up for the introduction. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy the video. We just arrived here at the farm. Um, we're gonna do some hunting today and try to get some uh, impala or waterbuck, uh, but we'll see uh, what uh, the day entails. We are just uh, scouting the area quickly with the bucky and then we'll uh, start the walk and stalk. The area is quite big. So I don't think we're going to find some animals nearby the roads. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, we're getting ready for the hunt. My uh, 308 Seiko is definitely part of the furniture. It's fitted with a Warrior silencer just to damp the sound and the recoil a bit. Um, I have also uh, a Zeiss V4 telescope on this uh, 308 Seiko but uh, this is a fantastic rifle 
Um, fantastic ammunition. So that is ticked off for our list. Now it's just finding the animals. We're going to start the hunt on foot. Um, it's a father and son hunt. I've been uh, waiting for a whole year for this hunt, even if it's now December uh, time. What are we hunting today? Yeah, hunting water buck. Yeah. Uh, there's a large water buck in this uh, area. You guys can see it's very, very green, the area here. It's quite thick, so you're only going to get some movement very close by. I think mostly 80 to 100 meters that you can see. We started walking in this nice thick bush field. Uh, you can see it's clearly quite green, bright green. It's quite thick. Um, that is what and why you don't hunt in December months in South Africa. But uh, we're going to walk and stalk, hopefully, a warthog as well as a water buck. There's a few water buck in this area. It's a quite open plain area. So hopefully there's animals in the area. Um, you guys can see there's no roads and paths here. So it will be fantastic to spot one and hopefully bag or harvest a nice water buck as well as a warthog if we are lucky. fresh manure it's definitely uh, not water buck but uh, you guys can see the beetles in here the dung beetles it's um, they are native to Africa movement here in front of us so yeah we are gonna be very quiet and walk and stalk and see what we're gonna get we think it's war talk um, we think it's two or three war talk but um, it's very thick and long grass so we're gonna see what we're gonna get here now we saw some uh, something running here hopefully it was water buck Something is moving in the bush, but we'll see. We're gonna walk and stalk very slowly. I think uh, it ran about 100 or 200 meters now. Just shot the warthog. So we're just gonna quickly look for it. Um, got a clean shot on it. So yeah, check if we can find it. Well, we found it. That's the exit wound. So uh, yeah, fantastic war talk. Well, nice war talk. A very nice war talk. A good shot. <laughs> stumbled upon this uh, leopard tortoise this beautiful green area and uh, yeah this is a good sign for hunting very thick bush we saw some movement but uh, 
We didn't see what animal it was, but we will walk and stalk further and see what we get. Fantastic! Ew! That's say! Congratulations! Thank you! Yeah. Yeah, fantastic game, Paula. You, where did you shoot it? I shot it in the neck. No waste of any meat. Uh, it will, it will go a far way. Yeah, we stopped now. We walked and stalked for about an hour. We just stopped to get something to drink quickly, and then. Uh, we will start again. We saw some movement. We don't know if it was uh, war talk or water buck, but uh, hopefully we are lucky in the next hour or two. Now we just placed a shot on a, on a water buck. It was standing uh, in front of us, about 100, 120 meters, in thick bush here, in uh, the Robocrawl area of Tabazimbi. Beautiful uh, uh, water buck bull. We walked about 50 meters. We spotted him. Something about the hunt? We were extremely grateful that we got it. And it's a wonderful water buck. It was actually a very good shot. But, uh... You guys can see this horns, it's fantastic horns, fantastic set of horns. Um, the coloration on this animal is fantastic. Um, yeah, the pelt, they call it a water buck because of their love for water and watery areas. And you'll see there's a distinct white patch or circle around the hindquarters of the water buck. So you guys will see that this pelt um, is very thick, uh, it has a very oily skin um, and this skin when you slaughter the animal or butcher the animal should definitely not touch the meat. That's one of the rules when you hunt water buck.
Now this far in Sanan turned out to be a wonderful day. We just want to thank uh, Jopi Kleinans, the farm owner, that we could uh, harvest a few animals here on his farm. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe and visit our channel for more exciting videos.